Hey, hey, did he get permission to use camo? Ha! Huh? Did he get permission? Van City Van Life? <laughs> CA. Van City Van Life CA. That's, I mean Canada, right? But CA could mean California, you know? I, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Anyway, uh, brand new one here. We got Ambulance Day. It's Ambulance Day as uh, Chrome is building out his ambulance and all that other stuff there. And, uh, yeah, so he's busy up there in... Uh, <laughs> He's busy building out the ambulance. Yeah, his new vehicle. Anyway, what's interesting is different designs for ambulances, okay? Now, oh, and now, now, Chrome has pretty much ripped out the insides of his ambulance. His ambulance doesn't really look like what the uh, typical ambulances look like in at least the United States. You know, the big boxy truck things. This is more like a van that's all souped up with four-wheel drive and all that other stuff on it. But it's very interesting to watch his van build and what he's doing. And all the different, you know, the bigger the problems, the more the, the more the, the, the uh, ratings. That's right. That's exactly right. Then, what else do we have with ambulances today? We have, uh, where is this here? My ambulance tour. Cheap RV Living Bob is uh, in his new ambulance. This, we uh, reported this a couple of weeks ago that he bought an ambulance and he, has, he purposely said he hasn't really changed the inside out of it. He has pretty much kept it as it is. You'll see he's got these uh, big uh, curtainy coverings on either side. But if he pulls them back, it does look like, you know, an ambulance. You know, it has the uh, kind of the, you know, the glass cabinets like you'd have where all the medicines and stuff would be. Like that. That's kind of how it looks. And of course, he has his uh, couple of uh, his Oscar here somewhere, right? Right behind the Nomadland license plate. No, he did not win an Oscar. I know that, but you know, let's just pretend. Anyway, so yeah, he, he has. It's really nice. Oh, oh, what? It, what? Why did it go away? Oh, there it went. Ooh, cheapers, cheapers. What do we have here? Uh, what I wanted to show you, yeah, is. Uh, is what it looks like on the outside. There it is. Now that to me looks like a regular ambulance. That's something like you'd see in the States. The big box truck uh, with it, you know, all the stuff on it there and all that. You know, you know, Bob, he should put something on the side of it. Bob's a coming. Bob's a coming. Get out of the way. Yeah, so uh, anyway, he is uh, busy in that. You know, he said the ambulance is small. You know, it's relatively small. You know, it's bigger than a van. But, you know, it's, it's you know, he didn't see, he purposely said he didn't do a lot of uh, building in the inside of it. But, he you know, he did an efficient job and uh, doesn't seem to freak either Chrome or Bob out that their, that their vehicles uh, were places where people once were very sick and some probably passed away, you know. I don't know, that space, that, you know, the think of how many people were in pain in this particular space in this vehicle and how many people might have passed away in it and accident victims and overdoses and everything. Oh, my goodness, man. I don't know. Can you, could, does your psyche freak out at that? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below, shall you? All right, this is a piece of clickbait that I don't think Rob Cheap RV, now what's his name Rob uh, Little House Off Grid has ever used? I don't think he's ever used this clickbait. There was a cockroach in my shorts and uh, Montana Dana had a cockroach in her shorts. All right, so uh, yeah, so uh, I don't think that is one clickbait that we have never seen on uh, Little House Off Grid Rob's channel. So uh, anyway, some good scenery in this video. Check it out. All righty. If you're looking for a schoolie conversion, this is a good one. Leave her wild there. Uh, plumbing, how to do the plumbing, how to set up the shower in your schoolie conversion. Good video there. Uh, so I liked it. I enjoyed it. Lots of good scenery in that one too. Uh, this is a very touching video here, Heaven on Wheels. One of her dear friends, Warren Bosworth Falk, obituary tribute video, passes away. You know, it's one of those lives where, you know, addictions. Let's just call it that. You know what you can get addicted to, all the nasty things you get addicted to, and they can somehow take over your life. A life cut way too short, way too soon. But a really cool guy, Heaven on Wheels does this wonderful tribute to him, and it is stunning. The first uh, half of this video is, he, what he was into was, uh, you know, 
the, this rollerboard thing where you go down the highway at 40, 50 miles an hour, uh, you know, re and it's really, you know, stunningly exciting and amazing. And, and this is shot, she's following him down this highway on their, you know, just out there on their rollerboardy things, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. And it's amazing. And it's just a, a very good analogy for his life. And uh, we get to see some video here at the end of him and her. And uh, just a really touching video. That's all I can say. you got to watch it. Heaven on Wheels uh, right here. Her eulogy clips and the memorial for him. Uh, really touching. Very touching, I'll tell you. Really touching. And uh, do watch it. And a uh, really cool guy. And uh, just, you know, you see a lot of, a lot of people like that. It's... Uh, Life is so much good and bad and crazy and wonderful all crammed into such a short period of time. And, and Heaven on Wheels does a really nice job on this obit. They tribute. It's a beautiful tribute. Really touching. Hey, now this is something I need to do. I have a, uh, I have a hotline here, 571-419-0463. People call me all the time. You can leave a message and I'll call you back and chat with you. Except if you're Ray Ray. If you're Ray Ray and you leave a message, I instantly have it to see so you. All your messages are deleted, Ray Ray. So you can leave me five, ten messages a day. They're never heard, okay? They're just instantly deleted. Anyway, so, but anyway, what, what Black Bigelow, a.k.a. Lamont at Large, is doing now is if you want to talk to him, you have to PayPal him in advance $20. And then... I guess in your PayPal, give him your phone number and he'll call you back. I don't know how many minutes that gets you, but uh, that's what he's doing. So I think that's a good idea. Maybe I should do that too. <laughs> you got to pay to talk to him on the phone. You know, I remember when 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 uh, Lamont was, you know, didn't even monetize his channel. He was not into the money thing. People would send him donations. This was like three or four years ago. He'd send them back. And now he's a changed man. Oh, yeah. Raking in that YouTube money and 20 bucks to chat with him on the phone. Hmm. Time sure have... Hey, let's do some letters for the 18th Friday of June. Friday of June. Anyway, um, <clears throat> Terry Ballard said one pack rat did $1,000 $1, of damage in my RV. Got a few plastic traps. No more troubles. It's a big problem out west, especially in the desert areas, especially there at Panda Land up there in northern Arizona. Lots of pack rats, and they get up in your engine, and they love to chew things. And he says, you know, Dave, the nomads have been uninteresting for a while. Why are you wasting time reporting the news when I can fabricate it? Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> I'll just make stuff up, right? Make it interesting. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You know, uh, uh, Jeff Bezos, the head of Amazon, he is uh, looking for someone to ride with him on his rocket up there. <laughs> blue Origin or SpaceX. What is his Blue Origin? Whatever that is. Whatever that Amazon one is. Anyway, um, and we just heard that uh, Camper Van Kevin is going to be, uh, has paid a couple bucks and is going to be riding with him. Ha! <laughs> Fake news. Gotcha. Although Valetti says, it's funny that the only Traveler's Nomads I truly enjoy anymore are Canadians. Steve Wallace, Foresty Forest, and Slim Potato Head. They all put out quality content and seem to be quality people as well. Looking forward to Slim's travels to the east of Canada, which I've always wanted to visit. Ah, uh, yeah. You, you forgot to mention somebody. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You didn't mention Justin Credible. And you have that other guy. What's his name? The, the one with the dog, the bulldog. You meant, forgot to mention him. What's his name? What's his name? Uh, what's his name? Tracy Carl says, we had rats in our truck engine in Mexico. They did so much damage that we made a video because we wanted to show how much damage they could do. We drove home from Todos Santos and had to buy a new battery in San Filipe because the urine from them was going on the battery and it caused it to stop working and it caused it to get fried. It was smoking and stinking. It was very scary. Wow, rat urine on your battery. Uh, you should check out our Baja series on Tumbleweed RV Life. Hugs, Dave. Oh, hugs to me. Hugs, hugs to me. Thank you. All right, here it is, Tumbleweed RV Life. I am subscribing because I like the jib of your letter. 
Here we are. Uh, uh, well, put it in the mix, okay? And I'll start talking about you guys, and you'll be happier than heck. All right, Tumbleweed RV Life. Let's see if we can get them up to 1.35K now, shall we? We had uh, Steve Wallace camping behind a Home Depot. Do homeless people go to Home Depot for their outdoor living sales? Wonders Nomad X. I, I doubt it. <laughs> You know, you do see, I remember when I was hiking around Manassas, where my sister lives, you know, there are woods that have like all these boxes in them. And you can tell people blankets and boxes and stuff. And people are living back in the woods there. And they go away during the day because that's when the cops are around. But I'm sure at night they crawl back in there and it's really sad. It's kind of sad, you know. Uh, Heath Walker uh, the rat plague is like in bad in Australia. I was reading in the Washington Post. I won't show you that because I'm sure it's a lot of copywritten photographs. But if you go on the Washington Post, just type Washington Post, comma, rat plague in Australia. Man, they're, and they're mice mainly, and they're all over the place. They have one of these plagues every 10 years or so there in Australia, and there's just like... You walk in a room, in a barn, and there's like they're just all over the floor, thousands of them. It's insane. Or just Google that somewhere. I'm sure you'll see videos of it. Rat plague or my, mouse plague in Australia. That's, I uh, hope Billy's okay. Chris Saliga says Tom Green should head west to Alberta and British Columbia and hook up with Simon from Foresty Forest. I'd like that. There's some cool, as we say, there's uh, there's Foresty Forest, there's Splim Potato Head, uh, and uh, Tom, and uh, Steve Wallace and that other guy was Van something something life Van I can't remember him whatever his name is the guy with the bulldog yeah um, Tom Green should try to hook up with one of those uh, big Canadian nomads <laughs> and have some fun a YouTube trailer park says Dave Road Rage again that's three I've counted I've, when I do my driving around this little town. I, I'd say it's, I shouldn't have road rage because there's hardly there's I mean compared to Northern Virginia DC. Atlanta, there's hardly any traffic here compared to there, but they have these lights timed so that you get them all red. You know, you'll, you'll go through downtown and there's six traffic lights and, it, you know, you'll get all six red or five out of the six red. I know why they do that. They want to slow the traffic down and keep people going and they're all timed to do that. But it does, you're like, why don't I ever get this light green? Ugh. Right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, every Saturday, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and our call-in at 7 p.m. Eastern Time right here on the Camo Dave channel. Every Saturday, it's sat every Saturday, it's Saturday. Dave. Thanks for watching, Vlog Under.